you're asking how to switch from RCS to SMS. I have the tutorial for you here. Hello, this is Mr. Mobility. RCS is an abbreviation for Rich Communication Services. It is an enhanced version of SMS. Every mobile phone released into the market has SMS, simple text message you're able to exchange between yourself and your contacts. RCS brings an enhancement to basic text messages. It allows you to send and receive high resolution images, high resolution video, the same way instant messaging works. When you're typing a response, the person at the other end sees a notification says that you're typing something and you're able to get delivery notifications and read receipts and all of that. It's a much richer, much more enhanced experience than SMS is. And it is carrier dependent. So your carrier must support RCS for you to be able to use it. Now, if your carrier supports it, the way to find out is launch the Google messaging app on your smartphone. That's this guy, right? And once you are in there, you go to the settings, messages settings. Under general, you see RCS charts and you turn on RCS charts. It, of course, it requires internet access, whether it's Wi-Fi or your mobile data. And you have all your setups and all that. But I have one of my networks connected here. Now you can enable read receipts to let others know that you've read their message. You can also enable typing indicators. That's a nice thing. You have the liberty to, to decide what you want to enable and what you want to disable. So I have send read receipts enabled here. I have typing indicators enabled, which lets others know when I'm typing. Also now, which brings us to the core of this video. You want to know how to switch to SMS from RCS. The nice thing is that a feature is built into RCS that allows an automatic switching. If an RCS message cannot be sent, if you're chatting via RCS or you want to chat via RCS and it can be sent, perhaps there's a network issue or some other problem, you can enable your phone to automatically send that message as an SMS. So you don't have anything to worry about once you have enabled it. So automatically resend as text. Messages sent as text aren't end-to-end encrypted and don't preserve media clarity or preacher charges may apply. Messages will switch back when RCS reconnects. So it's, it's an automatic thing. Once I have given it that permission, right? So automatically, if RCS is not working, the connection is not working, that message will be sent as an SMS. I don't have to worry myself about it. There are other settings here, auto download files that you receive over, over mobile data. Well, I prefer to auto download over Wi-Fi, right? But if you choose mobile data, you can set the file size. Note that lower file sizes means reduced quality, but that's the trade-off if you want to conserve your mobile data. Also, auto download files while roaming. Usually, roaming costs <laughs> quite a penny, so I'd like to leave this disabled. Data is not cheap while roaming. So, again, but, the crux of this video is being able to set your phone to switch to SMS if RCS chats cannot connect or send. I don't have to worry myself now that I have set and I can go ahead and chat. This is a chat message with uh, Gemini. I haven't initiated it yet, but that's pretty much how it works. And if you do not want to use RCS at all, you want to disable it, you don't want to use it, simply open the Google Messaging app again, go to your message settings, under general RCS chats, right? And Turn it off. Turn off RCS chats for all numbers. Yep. If you turn it off here, RCS is completely disabled and you don't have to worry about it anymore. All your messages will be sent as SMS. 
Of course, you can still use WhatsApp, use iMessage, use Telegram and other instant messaging apps. But if you don't want to use RCS at all, yes, just turn it off right here and you're good to go. I'll see you in my next video.